Hey guys, oh well, C321 back again with some more um, Giver vinyl model kit. Now I've already primed it and got rid of some of the the foo bars and mistakes that have been on here. And I'm just going through them them now, making sure I've got everything, making sure it's all okay-ish. I mean. Small minor things I'm not worried about. It's the big glaring problems that I'm I definitely want to sort out. Uh, and just just having a look, see. Right, so if we go like here, is that gonna? Yeah, see right there. We want to get rid of that. Yeah, that bit right there. So we start off. My sanding stick, I love these sanding sticks, it's a 400, I'm going to start off with, and you just keep sanding it until that particular part just disappears, then go to the 400, so start at the 240, go to the 400, then I'm now on to the 600, and then a thousand just to smooth it out and you can probably tell I've got a bit of a cold I've been in bed for the past couple of days it's been, it's been nasty it was nastiness I tell you I mean the, the holes in the edges here um, come on you're going to focus on that one like the hole in the edge there I'm not going to worry about um, there is something just above that hole there let's just go is that going to be able to focus in there? Where was I? I know I saw something there. And something that's like that, you're not really going to be able to notice once it's all painted. So that's fine. So it's just a matter of making sure everything is looking good as best that it can look, anyway. can't see anything really that's sticking out at me and saying send me I right, do have one there Come back there. yeah like that so we're gonna do that one so again start off with the 240 grit and just Send it off. Then go to the next grid down just to help smooth it out. And then I've got a thousand. They, these are really good. I only just got those these in through the post a little while ago and they're actually really really good. I'm quite pleased with them. That looks okay. I'm not worried about that because that's not going to be seen. Okay, let's check the legs here. Alright, so here we've got a nasty bit just there. We could either leave that or sand it, but I'm going to sand it. And what's really good is like you can see where it was raised up, and you've got the white bits where it was raised up. We need to that uniformly white. So you just keep on sanding until it's uniformly white. Now something else you will notice as well if you if you there you go. If you see just here, that means there's a pit. So we want to get rid of that and you just keep sanding until that little circle of um It called primer has disappeared, and that makes that now nice and smooth. So, let me go in with our next level, 
and the next level of that, and then the polishing, thousand grit to polish it off. We're going to have to prime all these these again as well, and see if there's anything we may have missed. But I think we're doing pretty darn good here. Yes, I think so. Uh, that's good. How about the head? Right, got some nicies on the head there. Where's the thicker side of that one? Now I don't mind some imperfections in on this model kit because the the Giver suit itself it wasn't 100% perfect. It did have pits and holes and jaggies. So some I don't mind, but I don't want glaring out of place, not looking good things. That's what I don't want. And that seems okay. Now, I want to talk about the hands. The hands, when you were, I was cutting the hands off, there was a line that delineated where to cut and everything like that. But then when I realized, if I put the hands on, you know, like this, glued them on, I was going to have a massive hole. Right, you see where that wipe is? Massive hole there, a massive hole there. And it's like, that's, that's, that's not going to work. So I had to go through all of my bits and find the pieces that fit back in so I can put them back on, but they're not going to be 100% right either. Because of, obviously, I mean, we've got this bit, which is the arm that goes onto the hand there. So it's not still not going to be 100% right, but it's going to be a lot better than have a gaping hole. So I still need to do some work on it. Um, what I'm going to do with that, I don't rightly, rightly know. But I'm going to have to do something. And I think it goes uh, this, this arm. Goes in there. Best of all. That one. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. No. That can't be right either. So yeah, I still don't fully know how this is going to work. And it looks like I've got a little bit of quite a bit of excess just here, which I don't want. So let's clean that up a little bit. There you go. So let's try with this then. That's no, that's not gonna work because the the arm's different. That's not gonna be like that. No. So this arm is definitely going there. Okay, and then that goes in here. This part goes into here. Let's move that all the way out of the way. Just have a little dry test fit. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. Uh, this is going to go here. But we also need that to come down. Let's cut that. A bit more there. So something like that. Okay, so that's how that's going to look. So we're still going to have a bit of a gap. So I might need to heat it up, bend this part inward slightly, and then just fill that little hole and try and make three little lines over this side and then make it flat so it looks like it's part of the, uh, the Mega Smasher part. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting build. I mean, normally these are actually relatively easy, 
normally but this time it's just not so uh, where's this one what about you what are you going to be like so that was smashed all the way back there let's put the other side on and the other side again the other side was pretty much the same it had a it was cut wrong well, I cut it wrong or oh, whatever happens but I still need to fix it and that's uh, different This one doesn't look like it's gonna have is too bad. It's still gonna have a bit of work to it. So I might angle those down a little bit. Oh, yeah, I don't know. There's gonna be a little bit of work to these, because I mean if you look here. This, this is just so you can see what I'm talking about. You know, there's gonna be a little bit of work, a little bit of Resculpting and trying to move this around into places and things like that to make it look good. That's the arms, okay. The body, okay. Right, that's still not fitting a hundred percent. That is fine. That one goes in there. And that one goes in there. And then VTs. One foot of it there. He's actually going to be quite tall, to be honest. And I don't know if we can see that there. Uh, with a hat, head on. Oh dear, yep, yeah, that's. I need to. I might need to make that just a little bit bigger, actually. Uh, so let's do that. Make it just a snib. Bigger. That should do. There we go. Right. So one foot in there, one foot in there, and let's just come up. No, I don't want to come out. There we go. Right. So it's going to be, let's say, it's, it's going to be quite tall. Um, I may put some weight inside the legs, inside this part of the leg, and the inside here. Um, I think I have some kind of plaster or something like that. It's ready made, I just pack it in. I think that might be the best thing to. Really? What? No. What do you want? I'm being interrupted by my cat. <laughs> anyway. So, this is it. I'm going to now prime these again. <laughs> And then see what I can do about getting these parts to fit together and find out how I'm going to reshape all of that and try and get it to to fit. I'm not going to glue these hand bits in yet, but I want to glue the arms. I want to glue everything in first. These are going to be the last things I glue in. Well, and, and these, I don't want these in the way. These parts. These sonic blades. Because I want to be able to shape these without worrying about and just keep test fitting putting everything in its place where it needs to be keeping the arms here putting everything in its place uh, heating it up molding test fitting heating molding test fitting until I get the right shape that I'm actually looking for that I know is going to work 
and then we can think think about pattying it and getting it all to look nice so anyway I'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna take me a little while <coughs> excuse me but look out for the next video which hopefully this little thing gonna be all primed I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this it's probably gonna be a total and utter failure because I'm not good at sculpting no not at all but we'll give it a go yes we shall give it a go and I'll have a look about what I can do with these these legs as well because I mean if you look at that that's that's not fitting right at all so we're gonna have to try and heat those up to get them in to fit properly and as I say I might put some kind of poly uh, not polyester some, something in there to fill that up and make it a little bit more sturdy and the same with the bottom half just a little something in, inside here pack it down in so it'll give it a bit more heft and a bit more weight like, like plaster plaster Paris something like that is what I'm thinking of um, but I think I might have some that's already ready mixed um, just having a look at the minute just to see how much it's actually the arms don't look too bad for the no need to put any putty in there they don't look too bad at all so that's not, but the body definitely um, I have to get that filled out a little bit and then just basically go from there so anyway guys thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one you take care of yourselves bye bye now